United States of Nation here with Willie McGowan, uh, women's soccer coach, coach uh, entering your fifth year, correct, right? Mm -hmm. doing, my, doing my math right here. Right? Um, well, you guys have a few practices under your belt. Um, how are things going right away here? Right. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited. Um, you know, we didn't probably show up in the best shape that we could have, um, but I think that's expected. You know, the summer holidays, people are trying to work, they're yeah. trying to get, um, you know, situated. So, um, you know, so that that's one of the obstacles we're overcoming right yeah. now is just building up that game fitness. Sure. Um, so I think once we're there, I think we'll be fine. Right. Um, you know, I think overall... We're actually playing some nice soccer. Um, the last couple of days with the weather, you know, being hot and sticky, right. we've kind of came indoors yeah. and really we're seeing a lot of good stuff, um, good combination plays, good movement of the ball, the mm -hmm. players. Um, so if we can translate that onto the grass field and mm -hmm. the 11 side field, I think we'll actually be looking very good. So right. Right. Um, really quite, quite optimistic right now, to be yeah. honest. Um, let's actually rewind a little bit here. Talk about 2015. Um, kind of put it all in a nutshell and everything, and then we talk about the off season a bit too with recruiting. Yeah, so. I mean, I think, I think the last season, um, I think it was a bit of a disappointment to be honest for everybody. Uh, we did so well in two thousand and fourteen, mm -hmm. you know, kind of rewriting some some things and went in a great five win. I think it was a five game win streak right. we had at the start. So, yeah. um, you know, so I th really thought we were going to build on it, mm -hmm. and we, we just didn't. Yeah. Um, it was just one of those years where, you know, we had five games that were in the lead, and we mm -hmm. kind of gave it up for a loss. Uh, you know, it was a brand new defensive line. It was right. a new goalkeeper. Uh, you know, we gave up 35 goals um, throughout the 17 games. So, mm -hmm. you know, you're talking two goals a game, and sometimes that's kind of hard right. um, to overcome. In a new, um, new conference, obviously. Well, and that was sure. it. You know, pretty, I mean, pretty stiff competition in that. Uh, you in know, the heart. I, right. I mean, that was the thing. It was, uh, it was a kind of accumulation of a lot of things. Right. Um, and you know, the heart of America. I mean, it really is one of the most competitive conferences. Yeah. I think in the NEI, at least it, in the in the soccer side of things. Yeah. Um, you know, you look at the teams. You know, you got like some Baker, Mid American Nazarene, Benedictine, yeah. uh, Missouri Valley, Culver Stockton. You know, I think they all finished in the top 50 um, yeah. in regards to the MRPI. Yeah. So, you know, you're going up against that competition mm -hmm. every single week yeah. um, towards the end of the season. That's that's definitely a big factor too. Yeah. Um, and this year, obviously, with Mount Mercy and Clark coming in, mm -hmm. you know, it's just more more games that you just have to be there and, and yeah. to, to play as best as you can now. Okay. Um, so, you know, it'll take a lot more preparation. We'll have to kind of massage the squad a little bit um, just so we can maybe rotate players a little more. Um, I think that was one of the things we learned last year was we played the same players a lot and mm -hmm. I think towards the end we really the, the fatigue just kind of showed a lot wow. of times I think so um, we're a bit deeper so we're kind of glad of that and I think that'll aid in really playing those tough games. Right. Um, off season wise uh, you know as far as recruiting um, just kind of talk about you know where you guys spent your efforts and, and how you feel like those efforts uh, came out? Yeah, uh, you know, defensively, obviously, um, that was one of the areas we thought we had to shore up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we lost, lost our left back last season, um, you know, so we, we went out and we found a pretty good one, I think, in Bree Johnson, mm -hmm. um, coming in from Otero, and then Ashley Broker from there as well, I right. think, is going to help us through that midfield area mm -hmm. and help us rotate that, that area of the field. Um, I think uh, you know we've we've lost Sylvia, so that was ten goals we've had yeah. to try and find. Um, I think we've done that. Um, I'm not going to mention any names. I'm not going to give it away yet. <laughs> um, but I think we've got some really good players that can certainly slot in. Um, you know, our, our biggest thing really was just to try and add more depth into that varsity mm -hmm. squad. Um, I think last year we maybe had twelve or thirteen kids that could jump in and, and play some serious minutes. Mm -hmm. This year, I think we're probably about the 15 or 16 mark. Um, and it's early. We still have a couple of players still to report as well. Right. Um, so, like I said, we, we are excited. Mm -hmm. um, the group are gelling really well right now, um, which is surprising. That just Again, just four or five days into the season. Yeah. So, um, they've actually got a little bit of team chemistry, which is nice. Yeah. And as long as we can translate that into the practice and onto the games... Mm -hmm. And we stick together. I really do think this group's capable of, of doing something. I think a lot of other teams before maybe haven't been able to do yet. Right. Um, however you want to kind of break down the overall team, I know you won't give too much away, but if there's, <laughs> uh, you know, some 
a little bit of insight more, I guess, into the position, the areas. Yeah, well, I mean, I think I think we've got a lot of players this year that will will have the ability to possibly open up an attack more. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we we tried to sit back a lot of times last year, hold on to leads, and it didn't happen. Right. Um, so, you know, that's the old adage. You know, sometimes the attack is the best defense. Right. Um, so. I think we've got players that can rotate through those positions and do very well. Mm -hmm. um, that may lead to you know a higher line of confrontation. We might try and win the ball back higher up the field. Right. Um, you know, and we've got a couple of good goalkeepers now that you know can use their feet so they can push up a little bit right. um, and act as that sweeper keeper, which allows your defence to just have a bit more confidence going yeah. in behind them. Right. Um, so I think overall, I think we'll see. Probably a lot more of an attacking game. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to think we're going to be exciting to watch and try and get the ball forward as much as possible. Um, but I think we've got that little bit of defensive um, ability as well right now with right. the returners coming back, having had the season they had last mm -hmm. year. Um, you know, three of them were freshmen or coming in straight away. So um, they've got that experience. They have you know, that ability now to, to know what I'm looking for as a right. coach as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, if they can transfer that to the new players coming in, I think overall across the field, I think we're looking pretty good. Right. Um, we'll just briefly talk about the overall schedule. Kevin already talked about the heart, but non-conference-wise, being that the heart is now 14 strong, you have, uh, well, actually 12 games because Purdue yep. doesn't have soccer, but... Um, that only leaves you so many dates there that you can throw in some non-conference and see how you guys, you know, uh, look against um, just early on before you get into the games that actually matter. But you know, how do you feel about looking into the the non-conference slate? Um, I think non-conference. I think we're looking pretty good. Um, you know, we've got a few tough games. I mean, we, you know, Indian Hills just for our scrimmages. You know, is a a sleeping giant, I think, in Iowa Conference in the junior college. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the coach there has done a great job of recruiting. Um, and she gave us a couple of good, tough games in the spring and in the last fall. Right. Um, you know, central, I mean, local rival. It's yeah. nice to keep that rivalry going as mm -hmm. well. Good Division three program. And then we've got Western Illinois coming mm -hmm. in as a Division Division one school. Right. Um, so we'll know where we are straight away here come yeah. Monday. Yeah. Um, Non-conference schedule, I mean, we're playing the GPAC, we're playing North Star, we're playing yep. two teams out of the AMC, mm -hmm. um, you know, we're going to go out and play Grace University as well, who I think will be a lot better this year under Coach Locke, I think he'll do a really good job mm -hmm. there, so um, I think the games really are kind of set up to, to push us, right. and you know, our second home game is against Columbia out mm -hmm. of Missouri, so you know, I think they're ranked twenty first right now in yeah, the national yeah. polls. They Sounds were fun. unbeaten in the AMC last mm -hmm. year. So, again, right off the bat, we're going to know exactly where we are. But right. we need those games to prepare us for yeah. that that conference. Yeah, just because the heart is so strong, and way too early to say anything. But um, I guess, who do you think is going to be up there, and how do you think we're going to slide in? Where um, do you think we're going to slide in? I mean, right now we're. I don't know if it's been released, but we're pre-ranked uh, as ninth in the conference. Okay. Um, that's good enough to get us into that conference tournament right, right now. Right. Obviously, a lot of soccer, a lot of minutes to be played. Mm -hmm. um, I would, I would like to think we'll at least be in that position, mm -hmm. if not maybe seventh or eighth. I, I don't think we're we're at the stage right now where we can cha challenge um, the likes of Benedictine and Baker. Yeah. Um, but I think this year, I think the games will be a lot tighter. Uh, yeah. You know, we had. I think three games in conference where we, we s allowed three or more goals. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's something that won't happen as much this year. And I think, you know, I think we'll actually score a few instead of being blanked out. So right. I think the games will be a lot tighter, but, you know, you never know in this game. Sometimes right, yeah. the, the best team doesn't win and mm -hmm. sometimes you don't get what you want. And right. <laughs> hopefully we can be the spoiler. Yeah, so. definitely. Alrighty, well you guys have, like you had mentioned, uh, a few uh, scrimmages coming up, so you know an opportunity to get out there. I uh, remind everybody those dates, because I'm, I'm forgetting with the, with the scrimmages. <laughs> uh, and everything yeah, we, we actually travel to Atumwa tomorrow, um, to play at Indian Hills at 2 o'clock, okay. and then we're here against Western Illinois on Monday the 15th. Um, Kickoff time will be 6 o'clock at night, okay. and then our, we have a whole week of preseason um, okay. until we meet up with Central on the 23rd. 
and then three days later we're out in Omaha with yeah. our regular season game against uh, College of St Mary who beat us last year so yeah. we'll be looking for a bit of revenge on that one sure. and then uh, Grace University so right already it's, coach it's not too far away yeah no it's that right around the corner for sure well best of luck this season I'm sure we'll talk more and get uh, some more insight on the team as the, the year goes on but best of luck 2016 I appreciate it right. thanks guys thanks much.